I mean, when you buy a car, all these tax forms get filled out, everything gets tracked. Uh, but, but oh, when 50 billion gets given to private people in Europe, no one can discuss it and no one can see exactly who got it. I am on the, uh, Societe Genera's website at the moment. And when you go to the website, you look at office locator, you just click on that button, scroll down, and it talks about how, uh, this investment group, they partnership with the Rockefeller group as well. Oh, so listen, listen. Rothschilds, the British royalty, the Rockefellers, they're involved in everything. I mean, anytime I turn a rock over and there's some New World Order maggots, Mark, uh, they're there. That's right. Well, Thank we you. need to just uh, beat the drum and say, look, getting rid of Obama politically in three years isn't enough. Putting some new Republican in, they're all owned by the same people. These banks finance all the major political candidates. This whole radio show is about getting people to look past the puppets to the real government, an offshore banking cartel that in Copenhagen just tried to set up a global tax paid to them on all carbon dioxide and human activity. I appreciate your call. That's the real issue. And we stopped them there. And I've got articles here where most companies are having, uh, governments having to get rid of the flu shots. Most people didn't take that, didn't buy into that boondoggle. People are saying no to the naked body scanners. Those are in trouble. The people are angry. They know the truth. The people are ready to be fully educated. George in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, I'm a first time caller. So um, I have a quick question for you. Um, I'm right now reading a book from a Naomi Klein called Disaster Capitalism. Yes, and, Disaster uh, Capitalism. Like, yeah, Disaster Capitalism. I would like to hear uh, what is your opinion about uh, the Milton Friedman Group and the uh, Chicago School of Economics. Well, the Chicago School of and, Economics was founded by the Rockefellers, and it's a predatory group. They're not capitalist. Uh, monopoly capitalism describes them best. I mean, it's robber barons. It's it's looting. It's a select group of of blue bloods being able to control the stock market and the issuance of currency and credit to their advantage. And they yeah, always talk yeah, about the free market, that... but but every twenty years we've got to bail them out from all their fraud. They I build agree, up, yeah. look, 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 these are Bernie Madoffs that are so big, and Madoff is one of their top guys, that they build the Ponzi scheme, but when it pops, they don't go to jail, they get more power and control. My question is, is it possible to probably address our uh, information war toward this Chicago School of Economics, basically to uh, all, all their uh, people that are uh, leading and their politicians, they're all... I think uh, Milton Friedman. Yes, they have. They have Harvard. They have the Chicago Business School. A few others. We've had top PhDs from these schools on, where they openly teach tyranny. They openly teach taking over society. They control the left and right. We'll be back with tons of news and more of your calls straight ahead. Tenth day of January, two thousand and ten. Twenty ten. All right. Let me news blitz. Right now, as promised, on a host of issues. Then we're going to engage in radio graffiti in the last segment. Daniel, Ken, Mike, Harold, Scott, Sue, Tom, Dave, Taylor, J.D., Carissa. Now, now look, that's all I'm going to be able to get to, so stop. During the weekday show, we use the Genesis phone system up in Minnesota that can take six calls. We have a computerized system here that can take upwards of 100. We open the phone system for five seconds. We get more than 20 calls. To give you an idea how many listeners we've got. <laughs> we just open it for a minute, and then, boom, the computer screen just fills up with people, and we have to go through and get their first names. Um, if you want to know what these bankers want to do to you, look at this BBC News article. Should we bring back rationing to save the environment and the evil carbon footprint of food? They want a tax on every can of beans, every piece of meat you eat, and... They want all that money paid to the IMF and World Bank. Who are the IMF and World Bank? The IMF and World Bank are openly and publicly owned by the Federal Reserve, the private banking consortium here that has governmental power, the Bank of England, the private banking consortium, and the European Union banking consortium. Ban Ki-moon, head of the UN, Secretary General, Herman von Rupi. I've played the clips here over and over again. Need we play them again? 
Just go to YouTube, type in head of EU calls for global government. They say they're going to tax everything you do and pay it to the banks. This is such a scam. Now, let me go ahead and get into the naked body scanners. If they can sell you on marching yourself, your husband, your wife, your children into these scanners that hit you with radiation, with the equivalent of x-rays, they can do anything. This is worse than a strip search. It'd be like if they took you in a room, strip searched you, and videotaped it. It biometrically scans a 360 circle. I remember a decade ago reading about this, the Department of Defense buying it for prison camps they were using in Serbia. Now they use them in Iraq. And they say the real reason they body scan you is not to find weapons. It's to get your biometric 360 scan. Then they can have passive readers on the street that just scan the front or side of you, and just like a thumbprint or a digital face print, it knows who you are, what you're doing, where you're going. Okay? So that's what the body scanners are really all about. Just like they have license plate reading systems and face scanning systems in for more than a decade in places like Tampa, Florida, the feds are paying for this, and there's a revolving door of people in the Defense Department and Homeland Security. The generals get up and call for this, and the Homeland Security directors get up and call for it, and then they openly make millions, in some cases, apiece off the systems working for the companies, just like Geithner's paying himself bonuses and bailout money. And $200 million plus in one payment to Treasury Secretary Paulson. It's the same revolving door. Now, there's no way to put all these in order, so I'm just going to read through a small stack of the, the body scanning news and comment on each one. Airline group protest airport scanners, Australia says, and the major uh, Australian uh, consortium of airlines says that it doesn't protect you, and their, their flyers are refusing to do it and boycotting. Bloomberg, good news, people are fighting back a week into this hype. Notice how they announced the scanners going in. They already ordered them a year ago worldwide, right as the underwear bomber comes on the scene. This is all staged, and that's a whole other show, how that completely staged event. Mind reading, by the way, he's pled not guilty. Mind reading systems could change air security. I told you last week that, because I read the government five, six years ago, saying they're going to put brain scanners in airports, and they have actually are testing them in five. Total quackery isn't real. Millions of dollars apiece, MRIs, blasting your head so hard with radiation, passively from upwards of 20 feet away, claiming they pick up brain waves and, and areas lit up on the brain that show you're aggressive. In one example, the Israeli company says you'll see a huge picture of bin Laden. And if your brain shows a friendliness, they're going to, I mean, this, they're going to come arrest you. This is total bull. We proved that the lie detectors are fraud, and they come out with this. Uh, Obama orders an additional billion spent on airport body scanners, Toledo Blade, his administration, people making a bunch of money off that. New York Times, give me a prisonplanet.tv close shot. I want to show people this. Now, I already told you months ago and last year from major university reports. In fact, producers, I sent you a link to a top university professor. Did you get that? That I, He's dead. My God, he just died. Okay, well, let's find me another top professor saying they're bad. Well, this New York Times has links to professors saying it's bad. Cancer risk debated for type of x-ray scan. And then it goes on to admit, yeah, it is hitting you with radiation, but and, and yeah, lots of exposure is bad, but so what? TSA funding airport mind reading scanners raw story. Former CEO of American Airlines call full body scanners in airports a waste of resources, says they don't work and people don't like them. So again, that. You know, they'll look at you like you're crazy when you're at the airport. If, if, if you say you don't want to do this, just refuse and say, no, and I don't want a full body pat down either. You know, if you really believe all this terrorism's real, how about you actually profile people? Oh, no, can't do that. Now mobile devices will scan your naked body on the streets. Then we have links to the Dutch news, British news at prisonplanet.com from that article. And I saw stories three years ago where they already have mobile vans and he has a link to it, body scanning in England. TSA agent arrested at LAX, going insane, screaming, I am God, I am in charge. I think they're all insane. Strip searching women, grabbing on people, going crazy. I've had it happen to me, groping people. Admitted, airport body scanners provide crisp image of your genitals. And this is a link to the Dutch news, the Australian news, other news, London Guardian reports that 
They train the people that the, that the, the woman's breast must be in full detail and the genitals of the man and female must be in detail. That's how they know it's tuned to be, have a crisp image. And what they show you on the news is the blurred out images. So there's a report there from 2008, uh, uh, admitting from their own reports. And then we have a London Guardian report that violates laws against child pornography. Airport admit strip search body scanners will show people naked. That's the Daily Mail uh, with that headline. For any of you out there in denial about this, AAPA warns against use of full body scanners. The Association of Asia Pacific Airlines is also against it, saying it doesn't work and people are boycotting it and they don't like it. Another report, government uses stimulus money to buy naked body scanners. And it's all about social engineering.